Hi, my name is Sean Newby. I'm a senior technical architect with Proficient. And in the video today, I'm going to show you how to install the trial version of WebSphere Portal 7 on a VMware image using CentOS Linux for the operating system. Uh, the VMware player is free, CentOS obviously, open source Linux distribution is free, and the trial is also free. So this will let you get WebSphere Portal 7 up running, allow you to play around with it, and uh, just take it for a test drive. Uh, there's several other options. I'm, I'm sure there's VMware images that you could download. I know there's cloud-based stuff through Amazon. But this is for uh, you technical guys who like to get hands-on and want to see how it actually works and uh, get your hands dirty. <clears throat> so the first thing we're going to need to do is we're going to need to download some software. Uh, the first thing we'll need to download is the VMware Player, which is VMware's free version. Uh, there's also VMware Workstation, which has a lot more features, but the player's good enough. It'll, it'll get us by for what we're going to do, just a little sandbox type stuff. Next is CentOS, and CentOS is, a, CentOS is a Linux distribution, and it's actually a binary copy of Red Hat Enterprise Linux. So if you're doing anything with enterprise type software, CentOS is a good distribution to use, because of its compatibility with Red Hat. Uh, most anything that works on Red Hat Enterprise Linux should work on CentOS without any problems. And then finally we'll download the, you know, what we're actually looking at here, or looking to do is the WebSphere Portal, several, Portal 7 trial version, which is the express version of Portal. Um, so let's take a look at where we can find this software. Uh, the VMware player, and then apologize for the lightness of the, the screen color there. Uh, you get the VMware image, or VMware player, I'm sorry, from VMware's website. I, I think you might have to, to sign up for this. I already have VMware player installed and I don't want to uninstall it and reinstall it. So you see there's a download button right there, but this is the uh, the easiest one of them all. It's just going to be a standard uh, Windows install. So, so go ahead and get that downloaded. Uh, and I'll I'll be pausing here in a moment so to give you a chance to get all the software downloaded and then we'll we'll join back up so we can go through the installation. Uh the other piece of software we need to to get is <coughs> excuse me, CentOS. So we go to the CentOS website. Uh and there's the option for sixty four bit or thirty two bit versions of CentOS. For the trial version of Portal 7, you definitely want to get the 32-bit. Um, and don't ask me how I know this. Uh, the then there'll be just a series of mirrors here, the different links you can go to. This is one I had just used earlier, and as you can see here, I actually use the torrent to uh, to download CentOS. The torrent's going to be faster. If you're doing this from home, probably using the torrent won't be so bad. I don't know if I run a BitTorrent client from work because that might make some of the, the network guys a little suspicious. And also, it's probably good just to get the DVD. I downloaded the DVD torrent. There's also the ISO right there above it. And then finally, we want to get WebSphere Portal itself. Um, and as everyone knows, or if you've worked with IBM software before, uh, you know, it can be a little challenging to get through the website. You can see the the link that I'm going to there. Uh, you can also, if you just go to IBM.com and then follow the uh, the menu path, support downloads, download trials and demos, and we'll scroll down to WebSphere Portal, and there you go, WebSphere Portal. This is the same screen here, and we want to download the Linux version. Uh, I'm already logged in, as you can see right there. I think if I wasn't logged in, it might have already, it might have prompted me for login on before this screen, or it might be after this one. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, but you know, the, it's just signing up for an IBM ID. There's no, you know, if you don't have one, it's nice to have one anyways. So we'll continue here. And if some, you know, do you want someone to contact you? I don't want to be contacted, so let me just put no on all these. And then I'm going to agree to the license. 
the next screen should be a, a series, there should be six downloads on the next page. And we need to download all six of the uh, portal install files, portal install disks. All right, so this screen has all the, the links for the downloads of all the different portal disks. We'll need to download each of these. So there's six separate downloads um, for the portal installation. So I'm going to pause the video right now. Go ahead, get everything downloaded. Uh, and you can pause the video as well. Once you have everything downloaded, start it back up, and we'll start installing the software. All right, so you should have uh, all the software downloaded now. Uh, I went ahead, I put all the install download software into this directory. Um, so we have the, the VMware player install, uh, the sent OS DVD ISO that I got from the uh, BitTorrent client for me, and the portal trial. Uh, so I've got the five zip files and one tar file. First thing we want to do is uh, go ahead and get the VMware player installed. Uh, this is just a standard Windows installer. Uh, there's a, not, nothing special to this. It, this would be like any other uh, Windows install that you've done. So go ahead and get the VMware player installed. Uh, go ahead and pause the video right now. And once you have it installed, start the video back up. Right at this point, you should have uh, the VMware player installed. So we want to open that up uh, because I've been using it. I have the VMware player on my default menu, or I could just search for it on the uh, little search tool there in Windows 7. And this will come up, and this is the, what the uh, VMware player looks like. So the first thing we want to do is install, or actually, we want to create a new virtual machine. This is the new virtual machine that we're going to install CentOS on. So go ahead and click Create a New Virtual Machine. Uh, this is pretty important that you do not want to install the operating system right away. You want to say you'll install it later. And the reason for this is their VMware player has what's called a smart, smart installer. Uh, in this case for CentOS, it ends up not being that smart. Uh, for your Linux guys, Basically what it does is it's going to set up the, the disk partitions for you, but it's going to put all the disk space under the home partition, leaving very little for the rest of the uh, partitions. Uh, so if you try and install software, you won't have any room, and then it becomes a very difficult or laborious to try and repartition everything. Uh, if we do it this way, we install the operating system later, we can set up the partitions if we want to, but it actually just puts everything under the uh, the root directory. Uh, and we'll just leave it with that for the sandbox type situation that we have here. So go ahead and make sure the radio button, I will install operating system later, selected. And select next. And we're going to be installing Linux. And we're actually be installing just CentOS, not CentOS 64-bit. Select next. The name of the machine, let's just name this uh, Portal 7 Trial. And I'll leave the location at the default location under my, uh, my documents, under my user profile. Uh, disk size, this doesn't actually get used until the disk actually gets that big. Um, you might as well set it up a, a little bit higher in case you end up putting more stuff on the virtual machine. Uh, doesn't hurt to, to make it bigger and it's a lot easier to do it now than to try and go back in and increase the disk later. And the other thing we want to do is split this into virtual or multiple files. It'll just make it easier to move the virtual machine around if we're trying to transfer it from one computer to another. And that's the, the basic options. We do want to go in and customize the hardware. Uh, for the customization on the hardware, the first thing, let's move this up. It's got one gig of memory, but that's going to be a little small for portals. So let's just bump this up to two gig. Uh, the other thing we want to do is for the CD or DVD drive that's going to be attached to the virtual machine, instead of using the real physical drive, we want to point it at that uh, ISO file image that we downloaded. Uh, 
with the operating system on it. And the reason for that is there's no OS, so when that computer starts up, we're going to want it to try to install the operating system, and that's what this will do. It's going to be this is a bootable ISO. And the other thing we want to do or think about doing is with the network adapter, if we use NAT, that's that's going to mean that your virtual machine is limited to being used with inside the the host computer. Um, if you want to be able to hit the that portal instance that we're creating from another computer, not just a virtual one or the, the host machine, but a completely separate computer. You can set this up as bridged and replicate physical network connection state. And what that, that will do is it is going to go out and actually get a IP address on the network that the host computer is running on. Uh, either one of these will work. If you have pro trouble with the bridge one, you can come back in and change the properties later to a uh, NAT, and that means your your portal will only be available within the host computer. So let's just go ahead and hit OK here, and finish. And that's it. We've set up the virtual machine. What we want to do now is play the virtual machine, which will start it up. It's like starting up the computer, and uh, install CentOS. So let's hit play virtual machine.